I talk about short algebraic effects as coroutines. <coughs> uh, algebraic effects and is a modular way to implement uh, computational effects. Oh, oh sorry. Okay. Uh, intuitively, uh, it is a reasonable exception. Uh, next. Hmm? Sorry. Oh, next. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, this is a program with exception in ML. Uh, we declare an exception here, here, and uh, 100 here. So let's evaluate this program. <coughs> uh, oh, so. When this part is evaluated, then the uh, control is transferred to the 100. <coughs> and the uh, red block is the list of computation. Uh, <coughs> uh, so and uh, but uh, the rest of computation uh, is cannot used and is abandoned. In other words, uh, exception cannot resume the rest of computation. In contrast, algebraic effects can resume the rest of computation. Here is a code uh, with algebraic effect construct. The first line we uh, declare the effect named differ here and hundred here. <coughs> Next, we evaluate uh, this program. Uh, the green block is uh, the effect invocation with an uh, argument uh, uh, as uh, with uh, the function as an argument and. Um, and the uh, red block is uh, the rest of computation. In other words, uh, the continuation. <coughs> the handler uh, binds f to the uh, variable f to uh, the function and, uh, I'm sorry, function and uh, the k as um, continuation. The handler evaluates k and, and f and prints hello and word in this uh, order. <coughs> Thus, the uh, f algebraic effect can resume the rest of computation. And uh, algebraic effects and handlers is nowadays hot topic for researchers. Uh, <coughs> it uh, helps us to develop theoret uh, theoretical uh, construct and uh, it, uh, we can use it to implement various control ab abstractions, uh, such as limited continuations, monad, and uh, in interesting uh, program constructs, like concurrency or probabilistic programming, and something. But is this hot topic for programmers? The answer is yes. <coughs> It enables us to um, model programming uh, more modularly, compositionally, and elegantly. But uh, we can, uh, we we must solve several problems to use algebraic effects in real world. <coughs> uh, since only research languages have algebraic effects as primitive, and few languages can implement algebraic effects in as a library. So we have a question. Is there any way to implement algebraic effects uh, in available in popular languages in real world uh, without significant uh, overhead? Our answer is yes, with only one restriction. <coughs> um, we implement coroutines. Uh, we we uh, no, no. we implement one shot algebraic effects by using coroutines. <coughs> So, uh, uh, because we, uh, we use, our method uses uh, coroutines, so uh, it, our method is, uh, can, uh, can, can be widely available in those, uh, so many languages. And uh, our method is, uh, our, our method, is, is, uh, our embedding is shallow, so uh, we can use this without large overhead. So I, uh, we require only one restriction, that is one shot. 
What is one shot? Uh, I'll, I'll talk about uh, talk about this later. To implement algebraic effects by coroutines, we take two steps. First, we define two languages, lambda f and lambda ac. Lambda f is a <coughs> language based on lambda calculus with one shot algebraic effect. Lambda ac is also based on uh, lambda calculus with asymmetric coroutines. Uh, asymmetric coroutine is a variant of um, coroutines and it allows uh, the parent-child uh, relation among uh, coroutines and is uh, and this is so uh, similar and uh, popular uh, <coughs> than uh, other variant symmetric coroutines. Next, we define a translation from lambda f to lambda lc. <coughs> <coughs> so, uh, the important property of our translation is, <coughs> uh, is macro expressivity defined by Ferrazian. <coughs> and this is the translation is local and compositional which is very strong and um, present property. Next, we talk, about, uh, <coughs> we talk about the second step in more detail. <coughs> to define the uh, translation from lambda f to lambda ac, <coughs> we make a connection between uh, algebraic effects and coroutines. In the algebraic effects, when an effect is invoked, then uh, its argument and the continuation is sent to the handler. And uh, <coughs> the continuation can, can be used in the body of the handler. In coroutines, when the coroutine is resumed <coughs> and yield is called inside coroutine, then uh, its argument is sent to resume. And the state of coroutine is changed that the rest of the coroutine thread is <coughs> and the red block. We can consider the coroutine thread, uh, rest of coroutine thread as continuation, but coroutines don't have an operation to copy uh, running coroutines, so uh, we cannot run the, con co uh, run the coroutine with its state uh, more than once. So, then we think from the different angle. We consider the rest of coroutine as the one-shot continuation, which has the restriction that is cannot can be used at most once. So we relate uh, coroutine to one-shot algebraic effects, which handler can manipulate one-shot continuations. And this slide is summarize uh, sum, this slide summarizes our translation. We made the connection between coroutines and uh, one-shot algebraic effects. Based on this, we uh, we define the <coughs> we, we define the translation from lambda f to lambda ac. Since it is simple, we can uh, implement algebraic effects. Is uh, we can easily to easily implement algebraic effects. And since it is local translation, so we can implement algebraic effects as a rivalry. Based on the translation, we implemented uh, one-shot algebraic effect library in Lua and Ruby, <coughs> and we we published on uh, we published this library in on GitHub, and <coughs> uh, <coughs> other programmers gave library implementation in JavaScript and Rust. <coughs> Based on ours, which uh, provides that our translation and implementation are versatile or and simple. <coughs> and our translation is so compact. Only uh, 200 lines in Lua and uh, 340 lines in uh, Ruby. Here is an example program and it, <coughs> it can work. <coughs> uh, <coughs> our library, uh, sorry, 
uh, we measured the performance of our, our, our Lua library and uh, <coughs> uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, we, we measured the performance of our library and compared with another implementation based on free monad in Lua. <coughs> the result is shown on the table. <coughs> These figures are relative values by taking the performance of free monad as one. Uh, our libraries wins three of, out of four benchmarks, <laughs> red, uh, red text. We show the detail of uh, each benchmark. The first benchmark, one state, is the case of single effect. This program invokes an effect inside the recursive function. Then the effect is caught by the uh, handler outside the function. The result is uh, 10 times faster uh, <coughs> than free monad. <coughs> uh, <coughs> our library uh, manages continuation as coroutines, uh, whereas free monad uh, requires continuation as uh, function closure which makes significant uh, overhead on runtime, so we can uh, win. <coughs> the next benchmark, multi state, is the case of nested handlers. This program uses uh, previous benchmark one state with fixed parameter. <coughs> the effect is cut by the out outermost nested handlers. <coughs> the result is 0 0.3 times slower than free monad. But uh, free monad also slows down. Uh, but free monad also slows down. Recall the benchmark uses uh, the previous benchmark with fixed parameter. The result of free monad shows down uh, slows down from 0 0.6 to 0 0.07 times, comparing to the result of one state. Also, nesting uh, 50 hundreds is an uh, extreme situation for benchmark only. So this may not be a, a real problem. The third benchmark, a looper, is about iteration. This program invokes an effect inside a loop. The effect is caught by the outside, uh, hundred outside the loop. The result is nine times faster than free monad. It is natural to use uh, coroutines across four loop in coaching programming, so we can uh, naturally combine our library and build in for loop. In contrast, free monad requires a monadic operator such as 4M to uh, repeat the computation with uh, creating many functions at runtime. <coughs> and the last benchmark solves a same fringe problem. We compare the benchmark of coroutines implemented by algebraic effects and real native coroutines. By, uh, by solving the problem. The result is 18, uh, 18 times faster than free monad, and our method is only uh, 0 0.65 uh, times slower than native coaching in Lua. And this means that um, coaching can be managed as one of the algebraic effects without interfering and, uh, interfering and without a large overhead. <coughs> uh, this is a summary of uh, this presentation. And we show a, a new algebraic, uh, algebraic effect implementation by using coroutines. <coughs> and we define, uh, we create one shot algebraic effects with coroutines. Uh, define macro expressive translation. <coughs> it is strong foundation to uh, compare other uh, control abstract or something. And, uh, <coughs> and based on the translation, we implement the uh, uh, <coughs> one-shot algebraic effect library in Lua and Ruby. <coughs> the implementation and our translation res resolve existing problem, and uh, <coughs> our, uh, our uh, translation or library uh, <coughs> available so uh, in so many languages which have only coroutines. And our method is shallow. So uh, we can use uh, the library without significant overhead. And uh, our embedding is direct to style. Uh, this means that we can use, uh, we can embed, uh, uh, we can embed uh, algebraic effect 
with that uh, special syntax or transpiration. Uh, thank you.